Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the church, the church being the body of Christ. And the topic is, the church is a family. I know whenever we think about family, we think about you know our extended family, our brothers and our sisters. But do you actually know that the body of Christ is your family? And have you ever heard in church people say, "Ah, brother, brother," because they call me Sister Jessica, for example. So Sister Jessica. But why are they saying Sister Jessica? Not because you know it just sounds nice to call her a sister, but because in the realm of the spirit, I'm actually their sister. Why? Because Jesus is our brother. So um, I know that a lot of things have gone on in churches where you know we go to church these days and we don't even know the next person sitting down beside us and honestly if you read the book of acts in the early church that really wasn't the plan of jesus that wasn't the plan of salvation that wasn't the plan after salvation and why i love the acts of the apostles is that just right after jesus ascended into heaven those were like the first things that the apostles started doing that was the early church so we should really really when we want to think about how to do church we should go back to them we should go back to from acts chapter one till the end and see how were these people doing church how were they living their lives and they were of course you will not hear brother timothy or brother peter there but guess what they were together and I remember um, before I, because I, I gave my life to Christ at 20, um, before I gave my life to Christ, the church I was attending then, you know, I really never knew anyone. I would just go to church and then, you know, I don't even know the next person. But while we have our family, like our normal family where you have your brothers and sisters, you have the church as the body of Christ. Why? Because the world is so cold. No, I don't mean cold physically, I mean cold spiritually and in every other aspect. Because the mindset that is in the world is not the same mindset that you find in the church. So the Bible says that we are in this world, we are not of this world. Not being of this world doesn't mean that you will not participate in activities of this world. It's just that you are different. So you being, um, so for example, Sunday you go to church, you have, you know, everything um, fine, praise God, you leave church. What happens after that? Your Christian life continues and it doesn't, it doesn't only, your, your, your relationship and your work with God should not start and begin on a Sunday morning. It extends Monday through Friday. Now, when you go through crises, I'll give you the exact example. When I was in school, or before I even knew Christ, whenever, because at this point I hadn't realized, I didn't have a church that was a family. I didn't even realize that the church was a family. The church I was going to there, like, they were not really my family. So, if, for example, um, something happened to me, I would run to my friends, who are all of us were in the world, though. You know, all of us were in the world. Nobody really was born again like that. And, you know, the advice that they would give me, and I would just run back and do that. But these days, now that I'm in Christ, I run to my friends, and family members that is in this case because the church is family and I'm able to you know call up my the HOD of my department or anybody in church that's a close friend to me and, and ask for advice and get quality advice not saying that I cannot call my family members for this advice I'm just saying that there are some situations where yes you've spoken to your family but you also need to talk to somebody in the church as well so but a lot of us believers we live our lives as standalone where you know what's, what's the church's business i'm getting married here what's, what's my church business i'm going to go do god's wedding i don't even do church wedding after that you know and everybody just moves on with their life but that is not the original plan of of of, of christ if we look through how jesus explained how we should love our brothers correct our brother in love you know but this is what we see is you know church members fighting church members you know people dragging other christians online and this doesn't even only apply to loving only christians you must love everyone jesus has called us to a life of love so we must always love every single person whether they are in the church or they are not in the church so if you have not made your church members your family i think the question is why why don't you see them as people you can connect with why haven't you opened up yourself to them the first thing is when you start seeing jesus not only as your Lord and Savior, but as your brother, and that all of us are actually adopted as his children, then you will see the next person beside you in church as your brother or as your sister. I hope this has helped somebody today. God bless you and have a very, very fantastic day. Bye.